It was really exciting seeing all of the lava flows going over the houses down there. I mean, not for the houses, but... Yeah, that is insane, mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, level of so excitement is rising. House. Can't wait to go up in the mountain. spectacular craters which formed during uh, an eruption in 2002-2003 and there we will talk a little bit about what we see here and what that is and we will also try It's the first time in volcano, yes. I think it'd be a pretty sweet place to make a micro warming. I don't I didn't realise how much it changes and I hadn't really clocked that there was a very dollar underneath that lava flow. I thought it was quite impressive and now it's like growing under 30 meters of lava. Fifty years ago, this was a gentle flat slope going down toward the cable station. In 2001, there was a cone that grew down there in a week. Well, it's a huge volcano compared to some of the volcanoes I've been to. Do a lot of research into the effect of carbon degassing from volcanic processes on the climate system. I've never really been on a volcano. <laughs> well, I Super impressive, I mean, it's, it's this kind of moonscape, you know, desolate but, but also very active and dynamic. Gathering together so many people from all around the world, it's uh, of course also quite satisfying. And uh, meeting again with uh, friends uh, in Costa Rica also is uh, great, absolutely great. Creme brulee. Tasty. Tasty creme brulee. I'm in a geophysics department and I come from a mathematical and physical background, so I don't often get that much exposure to things like geochemistry or microbiology in particular. So it's been spectacular to come here and actually learn a lot about geochemistry to see people taking measurements of all sorts of things and actually get an understanding of how a lot of the science outside of my field works. But it's good to visualize how the digital surface is being connected to the atmosphere. It's excited to be around people who are excited about the same thing. I'm excited. 